I'll, I'll... Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, uh, Mike, I'm recording. Okay. Hello. Good. Bye. Mike, I'm recording. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So you um, can, can you say that again? You wanted to just gauge glass. Well, uh, among others, how about cool, something of the order of coolant gas representations for um, you know several di different systems? You know, something like that. I mean, the sort of systems that I talk about would be, you know, uh, systems symmetry breaking fields. Um, that's just one, and then go on to talk about. Uh, it's, it's, for example, gauge glass, you know, symmetry, the, the, the electrodynamic representation for things like the gauge glass and spin glasses and so on. But um, the reason, Mike, Mike, this title, <laughs> title of the talk uh, of your lecture, summer lecture series should capture the essence of your talk. It doesn't have to be going into the details, okay? I so, understand. Yeah, so I know you, you don't want to also, uh, because in case um, you want to change your mind tomorrow. And right. Then, because at the end of our conversation, I wanted to write down a title of your talk and an abstract. That's generally enough to, that it will cover your lectures. And then, and then we don't have to change it because this talk will be advertised uh, uh, in China and, uh, and globally. Okay. You're too ambitious. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike. Mike, um, uh, here's my agenda. Okay, for many experimentalists like myself, I consider myself um, mathematically quite a competent experimentalist. Mm -hmm. I have trouble understanding, um, uh, for example, the anderson Yuval paper. Okay. And then, so your lectures were-, were I'm not surprised. Look, when I sat down and, 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 and learned that, I, it took me you know, a couple of months. Okay. So Mike- read, Reading and rereading that paper. <laughs> okay. The 12 hour a day, three months, 12 hours a day on it. Okay. Okay, so Mike, so in that same spirit, when I read it, okay, do you see my screen? Yeah. So when I read this paper, I remember I read this paper in 1998, when I actually, I just came to Brown at yeah. that time. I can tell you that I had the trouble to go from equation three to equation four. And I did not have the time right. to learn the mathematics behind it. So um, then, those so then, are, yeah, yeah, those. The, the, but I mean, the thing is that deriving those, mm -hmm. uh, the, the school of gas representation is highly non-trivial. Okay, it's it's okay. So Mike, it's so very, you, it's, diff, it's it's plain difficult. Yes. Okay. So the purpose of this summer lecture series is you can write this details down so people like me. Uh, can study it yeah. and absorb it. So, so if you can write those mathematics down, may look trivial to you. Trust me, okay, they are not trivial for experimentalists. Of course, so, they're, they're, yeah. not, they're not trivial. For, they're not weren't trivial for any, anybody. Okay, so so please write this down, and then so okay, so this make it a title. Just say the Coulomb uh, uh, Coulomb gauge representation of gauge classes. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I would say that uh, in this lecture series, my colleagues counselors will discuss uh, the, the history uh, of the understanding uh, of disordered system uh, that uh, uh, represented by uh, gauge class models. And then uh, more specifically uh, regarding the um, Coulomb gas representation approach. Yeah. Okay. Something like that should should should, should be fine. Okay. So okay. So this this. Uh, uh, but you see, listen. Listen. Just before you go into that, for a just a second. 
I was going to start with deriving the Coulomb gas representation uh, in, you know, and also um, the, 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 the various, in the, in the, and the duality represent and the duality transformation. You know, going from the planar rotor model to the what's it called the um uh, the, the, the 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 discrete Gaussian model. Mm -hmm. You know the roughening. You know the roughening model. Mm -hmm. Um, was you know one's dual to the other, mm -hmm. and. Yeah, because you see, in the when you put per, the, these symmetry breaking perturbations onto into the problem, you're actually work, you're actually it's convenient to work uh, simultaneously on the dual. Some parts are expressed and best expressed in the dual lattice, and other parts are best expressed in the original lattice. Mm -hmm. You see, for example, the the, the vortices. Mm -hmm. They actually lie on the dual lattice. Okay, Zimmerman on a square lattice. My spins lie at the at the sides of a square lattice, for example, and then the the vortices will lie. The centers of, center of vortices will be at the center of one of the of one of the plaquettes. I lie on the dual lattice, but the symmetry breaking perturbations. They sit on the re on the on the real on the re original lattice. Now, sometimes that's it. sometimes the distinction is important. Sometimes it's not. But at the larger length scales, uh, does this matter? Uh, well, sometimes it's quite useful to remember which which if you're working in discrete mm -hmm. with with lattice models, it's convenient to remember. Um, where your variables are defined. Actually, uh, speaking of which, um, we can go back to this 1D, uh, one of R square IC model where the domain wall sits on the dual lattice, right? Yeah, so, yeah it's the same sort of thing. Okay, so then I actually have a question there. Yeah. So if you add a random field to it, because the random field sits on the real lattice, right? Yeah. Right. And then the domain wall still sits in the uh, dual lattice, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Sure. And so I mean, you know, sometimes the distinction is important, sometimes it's not. So, yeah. so, so, so basically, then in that model, the random field does not couple to the domain wall directly; rather, it just changes to the wall energy, right? Am well, I right? Yeah, if you like, yes. Okay. But I mean that's exactly what you would ex you would expect to happen. That they do they do couple in a sense directly, but not quite. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, eventually you you can write it as being uh, as as being a direct coupling to the to the domain walls. But if you're being picky, it obviously couples to the to the um, the spins. And the domain wall lies between the spins. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, you, it just depends whether whether this. I mean, ultimately, you're only interested in what's happening at long distances. But uh, what's going on short on the short distance may be important or may not. You just have to look at it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mike, uh, let's back to the main theme here. So you you said uh, uh, you're gonna talk about this and what's, um, what's next? Well, I mean, the first thing I'd like to do is to derive the, the, re the, the real Coulomb gas representation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, of, 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 of the original model and say just uniform, um, Perturbations, you know, mm -hmm. like fourfold symmetry, symmetry breaking perturbations, and so on and so forth. Mike, I, have a, I actually speaking of which, I have a question here. Yeah. So, um, so the uh, the randomness is in AIJ here, right? In equation yes. three. Okay. Yeah. So after you did the Coulomb gas representation. 
Um, so you, in the question four, where is A? But the, 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 that's in these little Fs and also in the sigma. Yeah, I mean, it's all in the little <coughs> Fs. Because these little Fs are the, are the frustrations in the sum of the AI, AIJs round the plaquette. So in this, your okay. question four is a Coulomb oh. gas. Uh, yeah, yeah. your question four is a Coulomb gas Hamiltonian, right? Right. So the F sub R. Okay. So okay. Mike, oh, the first wait, the wait. first term is essentially hopping energy, isn't it? Kinetic energy, isn't it? No. no I mean, remember that the G is the Coulomb. It's Green's a Coulomb function. Interaction. Green's function, right? It, well, it's a Coulomb interaction. Yeah, but the, but, the, I mean, it's, but it's two. But it, it, it's the d-dimensional solution, Green's function of the d-dimensional uh, Laplace equation. Uh, okay, so so the, the the first term, I see, there is no kinetic energy in this, this no. Coulomb gas no, no. model at all. No, it's so just in two dimensions. That's just the logarithm of mod r minus r prime, basically, and three dimensions one over mod r minus okay. r. Okay, I see. So the the first term, the first term here is just Coulomb repulsion between the charged particles. Okay, yeah, yes. Okay. Well, and then, okay, but the, the second term, so I don't care what a sigma is, you, sigma squared is positive, right? Well, the second term is the, bound, is the boundary term. You see- then, then how can this model have a phase transition? Well, it, it, it's, uh, I mean, it, it, in a sense, it doesn't because it's a finite system. Um, I mean, it would only you, have to you, you, even you take it to infinity. Where, how can you? I don't see how you can have a phase transition. Well, it will have a phase transition if, uh, as a function of the coupling constant J, actually. You know, you put in one of a temperature, if you like. So, um, if, if you're at low temperatures. Michael, the first term is a repulsive interaction. No, it's not. Depends on the relative sign of the Qs. These Qs, the sum of the Qs is, is, is zero. So there's many plus ones as minus ones. Because remember, these Qs are dynamic um, variables. So they're not thick, they're not frozen. Okay, so, so you have the vorticity, if you wish. Mm -hmm. you know, Q equals one for a, say, a, a unit vortex going around in the, say, the anticlockwise direction, minus one, so a unit vortex going around in the opposite direction. If okay. You... Okay, Mike, Mike. Okay, so this is perfect starting point for, the, for this summer lecture series. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... sure, I'm sure not just me and the many people have trouble understanding this equation for how you got here. So, okay. Um, so, no, so yes. I was just, you know, I just wrote it down because for somebody who under, you know, I was thinking, okay, most people have no idea what these Coulomb gases are, and they're all neutral Coulomb gases. Okay. Many, there's, you know, the, the total the total charge in the whole system is always zero. You, you, basically, so you're talking about a uniform plasma, isn't it? No, 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 no. Well, yes, so yeah, yes, if you like, yes. Okay. All the constraint is sum over all R's of Q, QR equals zero. Okay. To neutral. Okay. And then you say that, that you're going to consider most of the Q's being zero, mm -hmm. some of the Q's being plus one and some of them being minus one. Mm -hmm. You know, assume that you've got some fugacity, which, which makes it expensive to have a charge. So you've mm -hmm. got uh, a small number of plus charges, a small number of minus charges, and you do some, you think of doing a perturbation expansion in the fugacity, you know, mm -hmm. just keeping the number of charge, the, 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 the density of charge is very small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I so look at the, um, uh, I, I will, 
I will explain how you write in the fugacity. Here, I've just taken the fug taken the fugacity as as one. Mm -hmm. So, so there's no uh, fugacity y in this in this problem. Okay. So, so Mike, um, you will, I assume, you will discuss um, the paper by uh, Nifo. Nay Nifo and the Hirhor, uh, right? Yes, I will. I will discuss some of that. Yes. Okay, you will talk about the, the David Nelson and the Jose Jose's paper, right? Yes. Okay, this paper, uh, twenty twenty, and then your uh, uh, uh valet. This paper? Uh, a little bit, but I mean, I that'll be too much to, okay. to discuss all of these in detail. Okay. Um. I see. So there's also Nay Nafo and there Mike Moore has a paper uh, with them. Um, yes. So that's, that's uh, this this one by Nay Nifflin Hillhorse, that was I think it was in one dimension. And then with Moore, the extended, I think if I remember rightly, to two. Okay. Right. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so um, okay, I think that's all uh, I needed from you today. Let's now settle on the time. Um, how about uh, um, so we can do three days in a row for your summer lecture because summer lecture is summer, right? So, so how about we do? 22, 23, 24. Would that be enough time? Or 23, uh, what, we can do, what, what we can do is 22. Be careful about this. Barrett, yeah. come here, please. Yes, I'm here. We're discussing when I'm going to do my lecture. So I need to, don't I have to know what our schedule, our schedule, our own schedule is. Okay. Okay, but it's downstairs. So come down then. No, I have to bring it up here. Why? I'm talking to Sean on the, on the, on Zoom. Well, okay, Mike, how about 22, 24, and 27? Well, let me go down and get the calendar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come down. That's what I asked you to do. Yeah. Have... So we have to, I don't have all the, all, all the details in my, on my phone, phone calendar, so um, I have to look at my boss's calendar. <laughs> uh, so, okay, Mike, I, I tentatively suggest we do uh, 22, June 20, uh, oh, you are leaving July 2nd, right? Yep. Oh, then how about we do 24, 27, and 29? Yeah, that sounds reasonable to me. Okay, twenty four. And I'm not the June twenty second, but that, that is my birthday. Oh, right, 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 right. Happy birthday, Mike. Mike, you. do you know that's also my older son Oliver's birthday, June twenty second. Right. Uh, aren't you twenty turned seventy nine this year? Yeah. Okay. Why? Well, so next year, this time would it be a major milestone, huh, Mike? Yeah, more than slightly. Okay, so then. I'm sorry. Okay, I have to look at the calendar. Right? So, so Paris 24, 27, and 29. Yeah, oh. I heard you. Twenty-two? No, no, 24. 22 is Mike's birthday. Yeah, 24 is the first one. Is that right? Yes, it's, uh, 24 is the first one. Yeah. 27 is the second one. 29 is the third one. Yeah, it's uh, making it very close to we are leaving on the on the second. That's yeah. okay. Will you have time? Yes. It's so, only one hour of each uh, lecture. So Mike lecture. 
so, but if it be the time when you do it, right? Nine o'clock in the morning, is that? No. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, nine in the evening. Yeah, nine in the evening, yeah. Nine p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes. On the 27th? The 24th, 27th, and 29th. Okay, but that's... I don't know about the 24th, but anyway. But yes, yeah. no, these are yes or no. Yeah, you, we, we talked about going up to a list in New Hampshire, but we could go on uh, Saturday morning, I suppose. My election line is PM. Mike, we don't. Uh, um, oh, so we can do 23rd at uh, yeah, 9 PM. How about 23rd, 27th, and 29th? That's your uh, Yes, that's not your birthday. No, it's not. That's the 22nd. The 23rd would be better. OK. Okay, 23rd. 27, 29. What? 20s? The 23rd for heaven's sake. But I have 23rd and 39, but you will be getting the... What? No. I'm asking you, am I free of the 23rd? Yes, I said on the 23rd. It will... Okay, yes, 23rd is okay. And then the next one is what? 27, 27. Monday the 27th. Third, Monday 27th. Yeah. Am I free? Yes. At nine o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and the last one is Wednesday 29th. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Am I free those days? That is the only yeah. thing on yeah. the table at the moment. Oh, I am so sorry, Mike. Okay. Right, I am free those days. Okay, all right. So that's that's settled. Twenty uh, June twenty third, twenty seven, twenty ninth. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, so uh, Mike, then uh, if you can give me your rough slide with the mathematics details, I'll help you polish them. Uh, as soon as you get it done, how's that? So, so I won't set any deadlines, but you, you uh, these three are real deadlines, and then so you get them done as quickly as you can. Okay. Right. So you are. Am I? Am I correct? I'm sorry, but what is it? Please. That you give two lectures one after the other on six twenty two yeah. and six twenty three. No, that's not. No. Right. Six twenty two. Six. No. Six. Ben, listen, please. Yeah. Twenty fourth. Sorry, John. Once again, what are the dates? Twenty third, twenty seven, twenty nine. Twenty three, twenty seven, twenty nine. Twenty three, twenty seven, twenty nine. Yes. Right. Um, I am free. Yes, there's nothing uh, in the calendar. Okay. Yes. That, that's fine. Okay. Nine, All right. Twenty three, twenty seven, twenty nine. Okay. So, Mike, then um, uh, let's set a target date to get all the slides ready. So then we can send it to Martin so he can upload it um, on, on their side. How about um, by Monday uh, 20th? So you have a whole a week, week to work on. A week? Yeah, that sounds OK. Um, OK. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. So then, Mike, I will let you start. Ask for Martin, 620. Mm -hmm. But it will be 621, right? Because otherwise you have to have them ready on the Sunday. It be, it's Father's Day that weekend. So, you know, I don't know what we'll be doing, if anything. Well, then so, if I haven't completed the slides well before this, I'm, I'm in trouble. Yeah, but uh, anyway, <laughs> 619 is Father's Day. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Mike, Mike, don't get it too caught up with the details. So why don't you just use your pen or, 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 or on your iPad or something? Just scratch the basic, uh, the storyline you try to tell first, those key equations, the mathematics, and then we can fill in the gap later, okay? Okay. Okay, remember the, uh, I, I gave you a very, you based on your- The other way around, you get so bogged down in the details that you don't get the big, into the big picture. So yeah. that's what, what we try to avoid, Barry. So I, I, I don't want Mike to get into the 
bogged down by the details so that he doesn't know, make progress. I know, Mike, because everything has to be perfect. I understand. Yeah, yes. Uh, uh, perfectionists tend to get uh, paralyzed by their own desire to be perfect. Yes. Exactly. That is it. You're so right. Okay. So, 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 so that's not to be perfect. Let's first get the main story, rough storyline of the three talks ready. Okay, Mike. And okay. then we can fill in those gaps to make it perfect later. Yep. Okay. okay. So why don't you give me a rough uh, storyline sometime uh, tomorrow <laughs> or yeah. the day after tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Okay, okay. so, but anyway, we'll, 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 let's meet um, three o'clock every day. How's that? All right, sure. On Zoom for, for, for uh, it doesn't have to be long, okay? Okay, well, you it, it can do that. Okay. So, so it, 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 uh, I will let you go right now, and then so it doesn't have to be taking a whole hour, okay? Okay. No. So, uh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll try. Uh, we'll try to get this all together by then. I mean, I'm sure that I will get. I can get something quite good together. I was already started trying to make up some slides. Okay. But, Okay, so Mike, for the first draft, it doesn't have to be looking good. Okay, it can be just, just you don't have to worry about format yet at all. Main thing is about the the material. Okay. okay yeah. Okay, so so how about uh, let's tentatively meet on Zoom every three o'clock um, uh, uh, for the for this whole week. Okay, for next whole week. All right. Okay, um, and then. Um, uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be a whole hour. We can just uh, talk about 10 minutes, just compare ideas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So at the end of this, when I turn off this Zoom, I'm going to write you an email about the tentative title and the abstract. Please, you reply to me to correct it. Okay. And Sean, when the, does Mike have to do thing, this thing with Martin and so on about the new contract? Can that wait until September? Yeah, that, that has no rush because uh, the, the, the next contract is goes for next year. So then the, we'll have 12 months. Okay. We'll have 12 months to work on that. Okay. All right, good. Okay. All right, Mikey, so I will send you an email. Please reply, okay? Yep. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll let you go to start work on that. Okay. Sean, sure, have a good... Uh, good weekend. Okay. Weekend, I'll talk to you what? I talk tomorrow at three o'clock. Tomorrow. Okay. Right. Okay, Sean. Okay. 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 Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Regards to Julie. Okay. Regards to Barry. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye now. Bye.